Testing service calls from controllers is often a point at which people stop unit testing altogether. One of the big pieces of it is just making sure all the pieces work together, but much like mocking that we did in the past, the best thing to do is keep the pieces acting separately. Now, I've imported the NeoSavvy core libraries in here to help us with our service calls, and I'm just mentioning this to you so you can see that we added all the dependencies for NeoSavvy Angular core, which is the same pattern we use, into the dessert dependencies here, which lets all of our tests load the same dependencies at the top of each test. I've created a new controller here called the table controller. Table controller has a set table method and that calls the dessert service which gets the remote pies right here and then um, it sets the pies on the scope to the result. And we also have the dessert service which is in the new module services and it uses the NS NeoSavvy service extensions to make a get request at remote pies. Now we don't actually want to make this service request and I'd even go so far as to say we don't even want to use the Angular HTTP backend format. Instead we use a global method that I actually think is just a little bit easier to test with and we've defined it in NS test here which is just a test helper and it's called spy and angular service and then there's spy and angular service error. This takes the service definition, the method name, and we can apply a result immediately to it to the promise. And what this will do is it will immediately call our handles, handlers and it will give us a um, spy to use in the service call. So let's take a look at the spec right here. If we take a look at the table controller spec, I've written out a couple expectations for us. And the way we want to do this is we want to make our service into a spy. So we'll say dessert service spy. And we set that up here. Uh, equal spy and angular service. And then we with the injector, we're just going to get our service. I'm just going to take that reference right there. And the method we want is get remote pies. And the result will be, um, it doesn't really matter what the result is here because we're not checking any value. So we'll just say this is a pie. So that's the JSON that's going to be returned in the then method. But we've also got a spy. So if we do a scope dot set table, we should be able to do an expectation about um, the service spy being called. So that's our first expectation. It gets called with nothing, so that's fine. And then if we were to do the same thing down here, we can expect that scope.pies equals our value over here, which is this is a pie. And then finally, like in any controller, we want to test the instantiation. So we're going to expect null for scope.pies. So this is kind of setting up all the expectations in our table controller. Let's take a look at that side by side. We know that the service is going to do that and then it's going to return the result. And we're doing this without invoking the external service, without going to the back end, without doing any kind of uh, weird stuff to get that thing working. Let's give this a shot. We can see that we have 37 specs passing. 